Your vote 2022, we're less than a month away from Election Day on November 8th, four weeks from today. One of the big races for State Assembly includes the redrawn 36th District. The 36th State Assembly District includes Coachella, Indio, and all of Imperial County. It does not include Cathedral City and Desert Hot Springs, so it's different than it was over the last 10 years. News Channel 3's Samantha Lomibau explains what you need to know about the candidates. The people of the Coachella Valley and Imperial Valley know who we are. They also know that we have a very strong proven track record of getting things done. Democrat Eduardo Garcia has represented California's 56th Assembly District since 2014. He'll be facing Republican Ian Weeks, a certified financial planner. I can, can bring a different set of ideas that I don't think are being represented right now. During the primary elections, Garcia received 48% of the votes. Weeks earned nearly 44%. I spoke with each candidate about major issues California is facing, including how they would uplift the economy following a nationwide shutdown during the pandemic. Making sure that the partnerships with our local business development centers uh, is critical to making sure that those dollars make their way to our district. I think that we need to advocate for policies that support job creators, and I think we need to avoid doing things like what we did during, during the whole COVID deal. On homelessness, as the cost of living continues to rise in California, forcing many to live on the streets. It isn't just a housing crisis that we're seeing. It's a mental health challenge to not just build the housing, but also provide the wraparound services. We have to increase our workforce in the area of mental health professionals. The roots of a lot of those uh, social ills are traced back to broken homes. And I would submit to you that 60 years ago, uh, when our society was at least a little more respectful toward God, we didn't have as many of those problems. And on abortion, following the reversal of Roe versus Wade. Uh, we don't have the authority as individuals to tell a person how and when they should be able to uh, make decisions for their own health and well-being. This is a live human being inside of the woman that, that ceases to be her body. Now, again, we can have discussions about exceptions, but that baby is its own being, and it deserves to be protected. And with less than a month away from Election Day, their final push to voters. Some historic investments have made their way to our district thanks to the collaborative approach of our leadership in the state capitol, and we'd be humbled to receive your vote again. But I would just submit that things are not going in the right direction in California, and at some point, uh, you got to try something different, and I'm asking folks to give me a shot. In Thousand Palms, Samantha Lumibau, News Channel 3.